Okay. Uh, Some more side quests. We did the Fort Gandala thing. Shandu. Yes. Off to Shandu. Shandu. Start here, I guess. There okay. Uh, on the west side of the bridge, up the north elevator. Okay, it's this way, I think. Oh. Guess I better do something with Mom's house. And while I'm at it, I should see Isla, too. <clears throat> Guess so, yeah. Okay, so this is the west side of the bridge. Uh, it's not the north elevator, though. No, it would be up that staircase, I think. Yeah, there it is. Oh, shiny. Shiny. Insect wings. Probably not useful for the shop, but I'll take it. Oh, here we go. Hey there. Hey. I remember you. You're the geographer who was studying spirit climb changes. That's right. And I think that hypothesis I told you about just might be correct. They say the soldiers that came from the flying ships broke through a wall in the sky to get here. Oh. Think about that. A wall that surrounds our entire world. <laughs> yeah. That kind of power could easily affect spirit climbs. The schism. The schism? Ooh, oh, said that a I like that name. Okay, let's refer to this wall as the schism. The next problem is, where did the schism come from? Mm. The questions never end. But that's why I love science. Yeah. Totally, yep. I, uh, no answers to these questions, I folks. I, too, also love science. Uh, so now we want to head to Alvin's mom's place. Yes. Oh, I thought this one had an exclamation point. Never mind, just normal dialogue. Should be over here. Right. This is where your mother lived, isn't it? Yeah. You're back? Hi. Oh, hi, hi Ella. I got your letter. So. Mom's dead. Hmm. She turned into a pillow. You already buried her? That... that's right. I mean, she wasn't gonna just leave her here. I'm so sorry. When I got here, she had already departed. Mom... Why did you do this? I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's actually a part of me that's kind of relieved now. Hmm. Gonna scold me for that? A human life is a heavy thing. If you were carrying your mother's burden for her, it's only natural that you'd feel that way. <laughs> Never thought you'd be the one to console me. All right, enough of this. I what? Oh, sorry. If you mean the cause Let's of death, she suddenly died. it was a sudden paroxysm of... You don't think it was the poison? Because my mother knew that you were mixing it into her food. What? Remember how she'd have those lucid moments? She told me about the poison in a letter. She lied. If she knew about it, why did she eat? Well, that was a way don't to strain phrase it. yourself. You never were a good liar. It's... it's you and that group of yours' fault for trapping me here! Wait, stop! Well... Okay. Isla went to the Royal Hunting Grounds! How could you possibly know that? Damn it! After her! Wait a minute. 
Uh, we actually need to go to the Labari Hollow. The game lies to you. Well, that's the entrance anyway. Wait, this way? Ah, yeah. Why on earth would you run to this dead end? To die? I don't know. Hostiles! Yeah, okay, fine. You want to fight? We'll fight. Prepare yourself for <laughs> ruin <laughs> effort. Caring is caring. So we were talking earlier about how uh, Jocelyn's voice actress was like he in Captain Planet. Yeah. I forgot how all star the cast of that actually was. Oh, Captain Planet? Yeah. Like, Gaia was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. Wow, really? Yeah. Kwame was LeVar Burton. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, some. Uh. Joey DiDio was Wheeler, who... Ah, uh, doesn't ring a bell. Uh, he played Daniel in the Karate Kid TV series. Uh, I didn't he was that. He was only in a few things. What? But... Okay, so he wasn't in it as much, I guess? No. Uh, and then... Kath Susie was, uh, Linka. Huh? Who was Lola in Looney Tunes. Uh, Dexter's mom and Dexter's lab. Ah. Uh, Danny's mom and Danny Phantom. Huh. Phil, Lil, and Betty Deville and Rugrats. Yeah, she did some stuff. Why did you Princess poison Sally Alvin's and mother? Sonic? I mean, she obviously wanted to get out of taking care of her for the rest of her life. Because she was holding her back. So long as mom was alive, Isla could never get her happy ending. Exactly. I don't want anything more to do with Exodus. All I want to do is live a normal, happy life. I've worked so hard just to be able to do that. Did my mother suffer? Good. That's the one thing I was worried about. You're going to let her go? She killed your mother! Mom knew she wasn't long for this world. She told me so in her last letter. She asked me to set Isla free after she died. She knew? And she still... Yep. Even though it meant she'd never return to the home she loved so much. I... I don't believe you. You're just going to blackmail me again. I have to destroy all the evidence. I have to erase my former self. Your former self? Or else I'll never be truly happy. Wait, Isla, stop. Hang on. Uh, ah! Isla! Oh, did you, uh... And then she fell off a bridge. Oh, I didn't want to show her going over, huh? What do you think this is, P5? How is she doing? Thanks to your first aid, her injuries have healed up nicely. Um, that's some amazing first aid. But... Mommy, why are you leaving me? Please don't sell me. I promise I won't complain about being hungry. Please, Mommy! How could this happen? Reverted to her childhood memories somehow? Don't worry, Isla. I'm here. I'll Me, always be your here mother. for you, whether you get better or not. Isla is lucky to have you. But it's so sad. Well, don't be sad. She was an awful person. Are you sure it's okay for us to stay here? Well, there's no one else living here now. I don't mind. She'll be safe here. They don't know about this place. But I'm taking the gun belt with me. It's been in my family for a long time. I promised my mom I'd take it home with me. Then I hope you find your way back home. It's the least I can do for her. She was a great mom. 
Hmm. Wired key item gun belt. Eh. Of course, the only, the only two Captain Planet like, characters we didn't address. I've had one of Mom's I mean, obviously Captain Planet himself, but he was just ah. some nobody who did like two things. <laughs> okay. And then the other two are the ones that we know very well. You had Janice Kawaii, who was, you know, Lysithia, and also... Um, uh, ah, yes, Lysithia. And also, what you is know, it? Drissel and Do Alice. you think we could go back to and the booster research lab? Scott motherfucking Menville <laughs> as uh, Mati. Oh my go god, he was in that. He was, I totally yeah. forgot. Go there. Yeah, he was Mati. Oh, of course. If that's where you grew up, you might yeah, remember something about your past. Though. I'm sorry. I know we don't have much time. No trouble at all. Besides, maybe you'll remember something that inspires you to new heights. That's certainly a possibility. Let's try to get back to Labari Hollow. Okay, so before we do that... Okay. To the Wyvern Cage. Ah, alright, that's up this way. Gotta, gotta go steal some dude's wyverns again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that time when Milo was like, we'll just take them. Well, I just need to break open these bars, right? Yeah. Hey, the wyverns are back. These are the same ones that we flew on, right? They certainly look the same to me, but I suppose they all do. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, save me! Get off! I'm sure of it. These are the same wyverns. They must have come back on their own. I believe they call this the homing instinct. They can return to their nest. Thank goodness they're okay. Indeed. Oh. After all, they too have served as loyal companions on our journey. I don't know about loyal, but they were certainly on our journey for a little bit. Stop reminiscing and help me! Sorry, Jude. That's just what happens to party leaders in Tales games. True story. Anyway, now we can go back to the Labari Hollow. Oh, that's the pudding. Oh, well. Oh, Hunting Grounds, Labari Hollow. Okay. Down to the lab. Oh. Never mind. Nope. This is the site of the laboratory where you grew up, isn't it? Maybe you can remember something about your family. Hmm. I... I can't. I have lots of memories of Tipo, but nothing else. Looks like this was a big fat waste of time. How? Well, I certainly wouldn't say that. I love the way the wind feels here when it's blowing through my beard. Wait, didn't Rowan's beard remind you of your father? Hey, maybe that means your dad had a beard, too. Do you remember what it was like? He gave Elise a piggyback ride here. Oh. That's right. I remember his beard swinging in the wind. And a long beard, huh? He was really big. Huh. And he had a hat with lots of feathers and a big fluffy coat. Aren't you just describing Xiao? Uh... Like that. Yeah. Are you sure that's not Zhao? Yeah, right? Uh, it sounds like Zhao. You're right. The man with the beard wasn't my father. It was Zhao. Well, he took care of you after He that. put me up on his shoulders and told me the truth. That my mother and father had gone off somewhere very far away. Yes, because he had killed them. He apologized over and over as he told me. But I didn't understand why. I just remember watching as his tears fell into his beard. Hey, it's okay. You can stop. I don't remember anything about my mother or father at all. I'm sorry. I thought you'd be happy if you could remember more of your past. I should have realized some memories should just stay forgotten. I'm so sorry, Elise. And Leia fucks up again. <laughs> ah, there you are. Uh, oh, hi. What's up? Some friends of mine said they saw you down here. I've been looking for you. What is it? I have a message from Isla. She oh. remembered where Elise is from. There's a she... place just through a cave in the Mon Highlands. How did she... Isla says the house where you were born is there. She became so suddenly lucid, did she? Oh, yeah, is she all better? No. It's just something she said during her delirium. She says the same things over and over. Then you've learned of her past. I know she can never make amends for what she did. But do you think you can forgive her? 
All she can do at this point is apologize. Your forgiveness would mean a lot. Elise, please tell Isla that I said thank you. I certainly will. Okay, let's go. I want to see the place where I was born. On high road, huh? Before we go there, apparently if we just kind of chill here for a bit, there should be a skit that pops up. Okay. Oh. A house in the southeast part of the Mon Highlands. That's Nobody where you said were anything born. about the southeast hey. part. Oh. Uh, relax, Elise, help me. Okay, so when they say the southeast part, they mean the north branch. Sure. All right, guys. In fact, if we go to the silent cave, uh, just a second. Not a dungeon we can just go to. Well, not uh, a dungeon. On high road. Oh, this is okay. Okay. Uh, well, we head to the north branch. Which I guess is where we are, right? Unless it's... Oh, no, no, no. North... Okay. So it's gonna be up that skinny bit, and then yeah. probably around the hook there, if I had to guess. Okay. Not, like, through the cave, but past the cave. Hmm. Probably. Well, let's give it a shot. Southeast, my ass. 1800 dollars Yeah, I mean... It'll do. Bee's nest. Odd climate for that, but whatever. I mean, who do you think is pollinating all of these trees? I don't think conifers need bees. Pretty sure they scatter their pollen to the wind. Yeah, but these are fantasy conifers. <laughs> of course. And these are fantasy bees that can survive in the snow. Yeah. Awfully Clearly. presumptuous of you to make those sorts of assumptions. Yeah, we already got that one. Mm -hmm. Nine hundred dollars, nice. All right, yeah. Ah, uh -huh. I went to cave. Oh, so we went into the cave. That's weird. Huh? That can't be right. Were we not supposed to? I don't think so. Well... The area beyond the silent cave. Uh, oh! Yeah. So travel all the way through the cave uh -huh. to the opposite end. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Uh, there is a hole in the yeah. wall Couldn't on remember the where it right was. hand side uh -huh. of the northern passage. Okay. Somewhere. Hey, there. I mean, it's not quite silent. They do have, like, uh -huh. ambient wind noise in here. Yeah. But they no didn't put any music, music so... Yeah, so that was a good touch. This should be the place Jurgen told us about. Yes, in the southeast. But I don't see a house anywhere. By which anywhere. we mean the far north. Well, it probably burned down. It's been ten years. It could easily have fallen apart by now. I think you'd see a pile of wood <laughs> if that happened. It's only been ten years, actually. <laughs> Like, you should have the foundation and everything. Let's try looking know, around right? a little bit more. No, this is it. This is where my house used to be. You sure? Elise's flowers! These were in our garden. So your house really was here. It's okay. Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot better now. Tipo, you said these were Elise's flowers? That's what they called them. Couldn't tell you why, though. Hmm. Jude, what are these flowers really called? Are they native to this area? They look like princessias. Oh, really? Normally, you don't see them in a place like this. Her parents must have planted them back when they still lived here. Did they form and a blossom gale? Have some hidden meaning that was Sepharia. Oh, right. Princessia was uh, used in Berseria later. That was Celica's favorite. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I can't really help you with these, though. Hmm. 
They mean priceless treasure and a long and happy life. This may be a stretch. Which is super ironic when your name happens to be Selica. Wow. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. Mother. Father. Gentlemen. Oh, wait. Oh. I'm impressed that you put that together. You shouldn't be. After all, you were the ones who taught me what it means to be human. Got a princessia. So we did. To the Lakutam Sea Haven. Lakutam. And the northwest point below the stairs. Um. Oh, no, not. Come on, let me fight already. I'm gonna uh, lose my edge west. here. Oops. Below the stairs. Northwest. Oh. That's southeast. Um, hey, <laughs> hang on. Is did we like did we do this already? Get by this earlier somehow when we were. Oh, oh nope, there oh. it is. It's just not marked. Do you remember when we talked about the edge of the world here? Uh, let's pretend I do. So now we know that Olympias is what lies beyond the edge. Yep. That's right. So a long, long time ago, Maxwell enclosed this world in the schism. And since that time, Maxwell has spared no effort to keep it that way. It was all to protect the people of Rizimaxia, and the spirits specifically. Correct. But now, we're trying to destroy the schism. We're not the first. Over the years, there have been countless adventurers, scientists, and arts experts. A great many humans have devoted their lives to solving the mysteries of the schism. Because somehow they found out about it and weren't insta-murdered <laughs> by Muse, whose entire job was to insta-murder anyone that found out about the schism. <laughs> Well, I guess even the great Maxwell couldn't keep up with humanity's boundless curiosity. No, I guess not. But if humans didn't possess such great curiosity and enthusiasm, would Maxwell have deemed them worthy of protection? Possibly not. 